This chapter in the walkthrough will focus on creating and placing rebar schedules that will be utilized in your walls, control joints, jams, and corners. We will start on the PW or Place Walls screen, which is where we left off on your ABC project. The first thing we are going to do is mark some materials that we will use in this chapter. Click on the Materials icon at the top of your screen and open Project Materials. Now, click on Copy Mark Standard Materials and open up Standard Materials. There are four materials to mark. The first material is number four, Vertical Rebar. The second material is the number 5 vertical rebar. The third is number 4 positioning spiders. The classification for the spiders is RES. The fourth material will be the 2500 PSI grout. Once you have marked all your materials, click on the Copy Marked Materials button. You should see your new materials listed with your other project materials. Now, the idea behind the 3D graphics is to have your project and its features visible. The color selection on the rebar and grout does not stand out at this time. Let's change that. Do a right click on the number 4 vertical rebar and select Change. Now, uncheck Inherit Color and open the color wheel. You can select any color that you like as long as it stands out. Once selected, click on OK and then OK again. Repeat this procedure on the number 5 vertical rebar and the 2500 PSI grout. Close out of project materials and return to PW when this is completed. Time to create some rebar schedules. Click on the rebar icon at the top of the screen. The schedule is currently empty. Click on insert and open update rebar schedule. Let us fill in the description field and call it north wall rebar. Schedule description will be NWR. Next Click on the Grout Field down arrow and open Project Materials. Select the 2500 PSI Grout by double clicking on it. Now, fill in the Rebar Field by selecting the Number 4 Vertical Rebar from Project Materials. Go ahead and change Rebar Per Cell to 2. Now, change the Rebar Lap to 38 diameters. Finally, you are going to select the number 4 spiders for rebar positions and give them a vertical spacing of 4 feet. Click on OK to complete. We will use the copy feature to create a second rebar schedule. Right click on the north wall rebar and select insert. Now click on Copy Rebar NWR. Your fields will auto-populate with the NWR data. Change the description to Control Joint Rebar. And change Schedule Description to CJR. Now move down and click on the down arrow to the right of Rebar so you can select the number 5 vertical rebar from Project Materials. Once that is done, click on OK to save this schedule and click on Close to exit out of the Rebar Schedules screen. OK. We have one last thing to do before the north wall rebar can be placed. Click on the OK button on the PW screen and return to Update Wall. There is a button called Rebar Slash Fill on the right side of the screen under the Odd Course listing. Click on it now. 
These settings are activated through the Update Wall screen because they are tied to each individual wall. You can fill the void for the remaining cells from the screen or fill the center of a pier and add height to the vertical rebar in this specific wall. Even if your specs do not call for the added height, you may want to add 8 inches, at least temporarily, to make the rebar visible at all times on PW. So, add 8 inches to the rebar height now. Click on OK to exit the screen. You can now see the 8 inches added to the rebar next to the Rebar Slash Fill button. And finally, click on Place Wall to return to that screen. Time to place some rebar in the north wall. Make sure you are in View Mode and position your building so the back side of the building is facing you and you can see its entire length. Next, click on the Place Schedules tab. Change the schedules from Openings to Rebar. Make sure your offset is set to left. Select the North Wall Rebar by clicking on the down arrow next to the pencil icon and then double clicking on the North Wall Rebar in the Rebar Schedule. On PW, to the right of the Place Schedules tab, you will find the Schedules tab open. This is where you can place multiple schedules with just one click. Make sure the Repeat box is checked. Once the box is checked, you can fill out the options to have the North Wall Rebar repeat its placements a specific number of times with a specific spacing. Set the times to 40 and the spacing to 4 feet. Wythe should already be on inside. OK, here we go. Change the cursor back to Pick Mode and left click on the left side of the back wall about two feet from the end. The program will place the rebar every four feet and wrap around to the left side of the building. Enter enough repeat quantities and it will cover the entire span of the wall or set your rebar to place one per click. Change the cursor back to view mode. Turn off current wall transparency and zoom in to the top of the wall. You can see the rebar sticking out of the north wall with the colored grout visible with the rebar. Let us run a report and take a look at the rebar cut lengths. Click on OK and return to Update Wall. Click on the Reports button at the bottom of the screen. The currently selected report should be the Quantity Bid Report and Show Totals Only is checked. Now check the Cut Lengths box and click on the Continue button. The report will open up on materials and list your rebar cut lengths. Close out of the reports and return to the update wall screen. Now that you have a better understanding of how the rebar placement system works, I can cover the auto bar feature. Click on rebar slash fill button and open the vertical rebar slash void fill screen. This screen has auto bar which will allow you to designate a rebar schedule and spacing for this wall. I have filled in the fields as an example, but it is not to be done on your walkthrough project. The wall will have the designated rebar and rebar spacing automatically placed every time this wall is placed. You can set up the auto bar feature for every wall type if you wish. Note. Autobar can be a time saver, but it will result in more rebar clashes or overlaps than placing rebar manually. Rebar clashes and clash removals will be covered in another tutorial chapter. 
Cancel out of the vertical rebar slash void fill screen. Let us return to the place wall screen from the update wall screen. You have now completed the chapter on creating and placing rebar schedules. The next chapter will cover the vertical schedule and placements. It will utilize the second rebar schedule that you created.